Have you been searching for a brand new custom built home that's on a one acre lot and your neighbors are definitely not on top of you? Well then look no further because I got you. What's up YouTube fam? If you're new to my channel, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexis Diaz, co-founder of Evolve Estates Group. I'm a real estate advisor here in the Central Florida area, and it is my passion to help people evolve in real estate. We go all over Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale homes, investment opportunities, local restaurants, shops, and so much more so make sure you like comment subscribe turn on those notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos We are in Beverly Hills, Florida, 45 minutes outside of Ocala. This area screams exclusivity, serenity. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage on one acre custom home. The luxury finishes, I am so excited to show you. Now, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll go over the closing costs, down payment, some different options. But this area, we are in a subdivision called Pine Ridge where the HOA is extremely low, only $95 per year. And this, you can have horses here. They have an equestrian center. They have over 28 miles of equestrian trails i am so excited to show you this now let's begin your real estate evolution tour Look who I found outside. Catalina, you are outside? <laughs> All right, so walking into this house, we have a little foyer area, which I like. I like that you're not walking directly into the family room. We have a closet right here, which I am so excited to show you. I have not seen one like this yet. So you have the shelf on the top, you already have the hooks, and then you also have like a shoe rack on the bottom, which is just so thoughtful. You know how I always say I love the little things, and that right there is just a little thing that makes a big difference. Now, let's walk in to the home. To the right is where we have the formal dining room. Okay, so we have the double windows, the um, ceiling fan comes with the house. So what you'll notice is that all of the ceiling fans come with the home, the light fixtures, the luxury vinyl planking, there is no carpet in this house whatsoever. Now let's take a look into this family room. This is a large family room, right? Where would you put the TV? In the middle. And what does mommy always say about the TV? What size does it have to be? You don't remember? Oh my goodness. A hundred inch minimum TV on that wall. There is no reason why you cannot have a hundred inch minimum. A hundred inch, that's it. This is a very, very large space, very nice. I love that we don't have the dining room mixed together with the family room. So this is an actual family room. You can have a nice love seat and sofa or a sectional, whatever you like. What I also want you to notice is that we have a tray ceiling here as well with crown molding. And what's really nice that I want you guys to notice is that there's black 
strips between the um the ceiling and the crown molding which just makes it look very very like luxury right you like it all right so let's walk in to the kitchen kit kat what do you think about this kitchen the lights are good you like the lights yeah yes i love these pendant lights very very nice and chic we have quartz countertops all throughout the house. You guys already know I love islands. I'm an island girl. I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm also from Dominican Republic. And I was born and raised in Staten Island, New York. So when I see islands, it just reminds me of being back home, my kids surrounding the island, right? Chopping it up, talking about our day, cooking. You like to cook, right? What's your favorite dish to cook? Rice and beans girl you could you get down in the kitchen yes mm, she makes some good rice and beans so now look at this if you guys been following me you already know what what we're, what what are we doing here tell them face the camera what are we doing here the coffee this is the coffee station perfect for a coffee station have it all set up we have 36 inch cabinets here. They are all soft closed. As you can see, they have their hardware already, which is different. I actually like the circular hardware. You guys know I love my Starbucks cups. I always have it with me. So my whole Starbucks collection would be there, but I don't know, Starbucks has some competition with the Stanley cups now, cause some Stanley cups are really, really, really nice as well. What I want you to see as well is that we have the tiled backsplash. We do also have LED lighting under the cabinets, which is very, very nice, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, on this side too. So you could change the colors if you want it to be colorful, if you want it to be white. So we also have this nice long cabinet here, and this is not even the pantry, okay? So this is just extra shelving. If you wanna put some um, pots in there, I don't know, whatever you wanna do. I honestly do not know what I would put there. Maybe our baking stuff. We have a lot of baking stuff, so that would be nice. Tell me what you guys would use for that because we also do, we have a, we have a separate pantry here. I want you to notice that we have tray ceilings in the kitchen here as well, which is really nice. You have that crown molding in the tray ceiling as well. I love the different colors with the white and the black. Very, very nice. Quartz countertops. We have the double stainless steel sink. You guys know I love my faucets that come out. Just makes it easier to clean. We also have a garbage disposal button right here. All of the appliances that come with this house are the refrigerator, the microwave over the electric stove, and the dishwasher, okay? So we have this girl, tell, tell them about this, tell them about this refrigerator. That when you open it, and when you close it, it has light. Ah, fancy, okay. So let's just come over here. As I mentioned, you have the um, you have the 36 inch cabinets, you have the crown molding, you have the microwave over the electric stove, and one of my favorite features in kitchens is a pot filler. I love, love pot fillers. It just makes it super simple to put your pot here. Uh, open it and then have it filled with water instead of carrying the pot to the sink fill it up with water It's heavy and then you put it here. Nope. All you have to do is put your pot open it the water comes out and that's it That's it All right, and then you also have the tiling here as well So again all of the appliances are LG and soft clothes now Let's come this way where we're gonna have the pantry we're going to have the laundry room. It's an oversized laundry room. So right here is the pantry. It has already an insert, a lot of inserts at that. And you can put all of your canned goods, box goods, kids snacks, all of that good stuff. Now to my right is where we're gonna have the laundry room. So the laundry room is off of the kitchen, but also this door behind us is the two car garage. Wait till you see this, you're gonna be like, wait, what? Right, Kit Kat? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna show that right now, but come on in, let's show you the laundry room. So we actually have the HVAC in here as well as the water heater it has the expansion tank we have a utility sink here we have racks we have cabinets we have more racks yes this 
builder has thought about it i love it me personally i don't use a utility sink but i what do you guys use the utility sink for if it's you know if you have maybe something that's super super dirty and you need to let it soak that makes sense but you can have all of your you know laundry stuff stain removers everything housed in here what's also nice too is that you have a window and you also have hooks so these hooks are good for like maybe the broom or any of the like cleaning supplies so sky's the limit with this wash and dryer do not come with this house but that just only allows you to pick and choose what you want to so let's go check out the two car garage yeah so this is the two car garage we have two windows in here the garage door opens um the of course the garage door opens we have a garage door opener already installed what's different about this garage the floor right we have not seen anything like this this floor is tiled floor so i mean you can use this for your cars you can use this maybe as a um storage area a workshop whatever you want there's also a utility door here as well that you can get out to the driveway so this is your two car garage you also have a um, pull down for the attic and you have stairs as well so you have attic space they will recommend that you don't put um stuff in the attic but if you wanted to you could put like plywood and just have some storage um like storage bins but i wouldn't put a whole lot of stuff on there because the attics are not made for that here in florida it gets too hot so let's come and continue the tour all right so that garage is different from all the other ones we've seen right yeah they usually have just the slab of concrete or either epoxied i have not seen tiled flooring in garages all right so this way we're gonna we're gonna have two bedrooms a half bathroom and a full bathroom so what's special about this half bathroom Ah, so it has a door that leads you outside, which is super useful, especially if you have like maybe if you want to build a pool and that door could just be easy access and you don't have to come into the house all wet. So let's check out just the half bathroom. The half bathroom is just the white uh, quartz countertops, a toilet, and then of course the door. Now, if we come this way, we're going to have bedroom number one. Let's go check it out. Bedroom number one faces the back of the house. The dimensions are 13 by 12. Again, you have the ceiling fan, the luxury vinyl planking, and what do you have? Yup, a walk-in closet. They already know. Look at this. It's like the builder been watching my videos because they maximize the space by putting two racks in there. I love it. So it's great if you put the shirts on the top, the jeans on the bottom, you could fold the jeans. If you have two kids in here and you're bunking them, one kid could be on the top, one could, could be on the bottom, right? Yeah. You have this window in here that shows the beautiful scenery outside in the back. I love all of these trees that surround this house. So come on, let's continue and let's go check out bedroom number two. All right, so right across the hall, let's just call this bedroom number two. It faces the side of the house. Again, exactly just the same with the luxury vinyl planking, the ceiling fan. This dimensions is 14 by 11, so it's a little bit bigger. We also have this double closet door. Let's open it up and show them a lot of space. So again, they didn't maximize the space in here, but you can always just add another one of these right there and that's it, you're good. Um, customize it however you want to. So let's go to the bathroom that these bedrooms are gonna share. All right, so before I show you the full bathroom, right here you do have a linen closet, it has four shelves which is perfect for your towels blankets etc bed sheets so come on this way where we're gonna have the full bathroom that these bedrooms are gonna share you have the um oversized one sink cabinet with quartz countertops with this beautiful um 
round mirror i absolutely love it even the lights are just very different um you have the shower tub combination where this tile work is absolutely beautiful it's like this bluish gray color i love it and then you have the niche right there you guys know i love my niche because you could put your soaps and things like that and then you also have the tile in the back as well it's like the hexagon tile so this is the second bathroom and um so these two bedrooms and the other bedroom on the other side are gonna share this one so let's go to the other side of the house where we have bedroom number three and the master bedroom all right so i changed my mind and i want to show you outside i don't want to forget i want to show you the enclosed lanai i want to show you your backyard all the trees surrounding it so i'm gonna go through the bathroom meet you outside all right so this is your back lanai. It's covered and it's enclosed and you have two ceiling fans, which is perfect. Right now we are in winter. It's kind of chilly out today though, right? That's why we have some sweaters and some jackets on because it is chilly today. But this is so, this is perfect for you to have your doors open, the AC off, save some money and have the, just the, all of that fresh air coming into the house. So as I mentioned, this is already enclosed. What you see is what you get. This exact house is for sale. The floor is epoxied already. So it's just not the bare concrete, which I can definitely appreciate but i want to show you outside come on kick let's go all right so this is your backyard it is huge it's on an acre there's trees surrounding the house sky's the limit it is so quiet all you hear is the birds right you hear the birds yeah <laughs> you just hear the birds it is just oh my goodness it feels so good just very very serene literally i don't hear anything besides the birds um you can definitely add a pool here although there's a slope i'm pretty sure that they can build up you can have a playground trampoline fire pit whatever your heart desires what would you do back here um put a fence and then a kitchen Oh, you want a fence and then an outdoor kitchen? Yeah. But what you gonna cook out here? Chick turkey. Turkey? <laughs> you couldn't make up your mind between chicken and turkey? That's okay, you cook both of them. Some hamburgers, some hot dogs, and we'll invite everybody, right? <laughs> so this is your backyard. Again, it's on an acre lot of land. It is so quiet out here. Oh my goodness. I can just like, you can, this would be perfect to do yoga outside or meditate or just like, just sit out here and just be grateful. Have your gratitude session. You hear the birds? I love it. Now, come on, let's go back inside because it's still chilly out here, even though the sun is beaming right here. And let's go show you the other side of the house. All right, you go first, my lady. Okay. So did you like the backyard? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I absolutely love it. What did you guys think about the backyard? What do you guys think about the house so far? Do you love it? So again, this is Beverly Hills area. It is um, considered a rural area, but it's developed. We have Walmart literally 10 minutes away from here. I'll talk about the location in just a little bit, but I am so excited. I just want to give you all the information now, right? I get too excited. So let's go this way where we're gonna have bedroom number three and then we're gonna have the master bedroom and you are not gonna be disappointed. All right, so this is bedroom number three and it faces the front of the house. The dimensions of this bedroom is 13 by 12 as well. Again, same thing, luxury vinyl planking. You have the extended um, boards what is it called again? Um, baseboards, baseboards, the ceiling fan, the window, and then let's show them the closet. Looks to be about the same as bedroom number two. Look how big, very, very nice and spacious. Again, like I always say, what we could, what can they do with that? Put another shelf. Put another shelf, maximize the space, whatever your heart desires. Now I am super excited to show you this master bedroom. It is the best feature for me in this house and that's the way it should be because you deserve it.
Welcome to your master bedroom. This bedroom is huge. The dimensions are 22 by 17. I love it. You have the tray ceilings in here with the crown molding. You have that black strip there too that just looks very nice against the gray luxury vinyl planking. You have the two um, windows in here, which as you can see, a lot of natural light is coming in. This faces the side of the house. The closet is right here, which I'll show you in just a minute, but you can definitely put your king size bed here with the end tables, uh, the TV right there with the dresser, maybe even a sitting area in front of the, the bed. I like how that looks like when there's two chairs or even like a nice, huh? Oh yeah, a dresser and a lamp. But I like how the ottoman looks when it's at the end of the bed. That looks like a bench, there you go. So now let's go and let's check out the master bathroom. Welcome to the master bathroom. <laughs> this is, a okay girlfriend, I can, she is living her best life right now. You like this standalone tub? This is very, very chic. I even love the pedestals on the bottom that's holding up the, um, the tub, very nice. You have the towel work all throughout, which I love because I've seen some houses where they have the standalone tub, but there's no towel behind it. And so if it's just the wall and it constantly gets wet, then the paint is gonna start peeling. So I, this is, it's necessary for the towel to surround the standalone tub. Yep, you can have a bubble bath. They have a niche right there. All your maybe like soaps and things like that. This is nice. Look at this. This is extra and I'm all about extra. I love it. You have a window in here. So you also have a double sink with the white court the white quartz countertop, some drawers. You have the really, really nice um, mirrors there and the nice lighting again. You also have the toilet closet right here, which is AKA known as a water closet. So it's separate, which is really nice. Now let's talk about this walk-in shower. You do the honors, girlfriend. All right. So we have a walk-in shower, we have a bench, we have the towel going all the way up to the top of the ceiling. We have you two shower heads. You have two shower heads, just like she said, you have two niches, the rec the hexagon tiling on the floor. Beautiful. What you think about this one? Do you like it? You like it? All right, she likes it. So it comes with the shower door already. And then you also have this huge, it is a deep linen closet. You have four shelves, perfect for your big bed sheets, your big blankets, towels. What do we love in our house? Blankets, right? Yeah. We have so many blankets. blankets. We have so many big blankets, like the really warm blankets, because we keep it cold in the house and we just cover ourselves with blankets, right? Those really, really big blankets. So this is the master bathroom. All right, so I wanted to show you the closet. The closet is as soon as you walk into the master bedroom. This is a big closet. Come on in. You have shelves galore. You have the shoe racks on the bottom. You don't need to do anything here unless you want, unless you didn't want the shelves and you want it maybe like um, the solid like wood um, shelves and things like that. But this is definitely a great closet. A lot of space. You can fold clothes, put it on here, put your shoes on the bottom. You even have space on this side as well where you can hang things up, maybe like your long dresses, your long um, maybe suits and things like that. So this is your closet. Very, very nice and spacious. I hope you enjoyed it. So let's go back into the kitchen and chop it up. All right, we are back in the kitchen. You guys know it's my absolute favorite place to be. What did you think about this home? Do you love it? I know I do. So let's go over the details again. This is a custom built home, four bedrooms, two and a half bath, two car garage, 2,343 square feet on an acre lot. This house is located in Beverly Hills, Florida, which is 45 minutes 
west of Ocala. And in this area, the subdivision is called Pine Ridge, where it's the HOA is extremely low. It's only $95 per year. And what's super cool about it is that this is an equestrian community. So you can have a horse here, which is great. They have an equestrian center. They have over 28 miles of equestrian trails. So that is just awesome they also have like a community center where you have like computers um they have a pool table um they have an outside area a dog park a playground so this is a beautiful area it's considered a rural area but it is developed so just a few things that i want to let you know so walmart is literally only 10 minutes away from here publix is about eight minutes away i love publix i love their buy one get one free they always get me on that you have Dunkin' Donuts, which is about five minutes away from here. You also have a golf club, which is about five minutes away from here as well. You have Cedar Sinai Medical Center, which is just five minutes away from here. You have the beach, which is about 25 minutes away from here. Crystal River is only 20 minutes away from here. So you're about an hour and 25 minutes away from Orlando, where the International Airport is there. Of course, you have Disney, Universal, um, you also are about an hour and 25 minutes away from Tampa. So you are kind of like in the middle again, 45 minutes away from Ocala. Now this house is priced at $680,000. And what I wanted to let you know is that it's concrete block. It's septic tank and public water and like i said it's um, a custom built home a husband and wife are builders and they build about one to two homes per year in the area and they just they just put a lot of love and i feel like thought into this home let me know what you guys think one thing that I wanted to mention is that the best way to get in contact with me is there's a Calendly link in my uh, YouTube profile, also in the description. Schedule some time with me. The reason why I do it this way is because if I'm out showing um, properties or with other clients, I wanna give them my undivided attention. And when you call me, I would like to give you my undivided attention as well, all right? And then if you give me a call, you'll reach my assistants and then they'll go ahead and just put you on my schedule. I also have another description, um, another link in my description. It's a get qualified in 60 seconds for a mortgage. So you'll go ahead, fill out your um, information. And then my preferred mortgage lender, Jocelyn Christensen with Home First Lending, she's gonna go ahead and reach out to you and then just walk you through the um, steps further to get pre-qualified for a mortgage. Now, what I wanna do, which I always do, is I take you to Monarch School of real estate where we'll go and break down the numbers as far as down payment and closing costs meet you there all right so we are at monarch school of real estate if you guys don't know i love butterflies my whole evolve estates group is built on the evolution um and that came from butterflies so i love it um as you can see i have a butterfly uh, belt and earrings um so yes the price of the home is listed at $680,000. Remember, the HOA is only $95 per year and there is no CDD. So if we're at this price range, you're gonna wanna go conventional. Conventional, um, for first time home buyers, you may qualify for 3% of the purchase price as a down payment. So if we do the math, 3% of $680,000, we get $20,400. Now, when you're buying a house, not only do you have to think about down payment, you have to think about closing costs. What are closing costs? Closing costs and accumulation of fees, such as loan origination fees, lender fee, well, oh, lender fees, um, title fees, doc stamps, prorated taxes, etc. It's usually between three to 4%. I'm always super conservative and I go 4%. So 4% of 680, 680,000 is $27,200. So if we add the two together, we get $47,600. One thing that I want to mention that I didn't mention is that I am not a mortgage loan officer. This is just an estimate, just to kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at number wise, okay? But full disclaimer, I am not a loan officer. So 
The next tier from 3% is 5%. 5% of $680,000 is 34,000 dollars. Same closing cost, so if we add the two together, we have a cash to close of 61,200 dollars. Now the next tier from 5% is 10%. Why would I pay 10%? The reason why you would pay 10% is if this is not your primary home, right? If you this is gonna be your second home, this is you're buying this home because you're gonna retire soon, but you're not necessarily gonna live in it yet. Or if you, yeah, so that's basically it because I have a lot of clients who call me and they're like, I wanna buy a house, I don't own a house here yet, can that be my primary residence and I'm gonna still work in New York? No, it's gonna be considered a second home because the mortgage um, the mortgage lender is gonna be like, uh, wait a minute, how are you living there primarily but still working in New York? It just doesn't make sense. So the minimum down payment for that situation is gonna be 10%. So 10% of 680,000 uh, 680, is $68,000, same closing cost. So we have a cash to close of $95,200. The next tier from 10% is 20%. Now Alexis, why would I pay 20%? The reason why you pay 20% is like, let's say you sold a home and you have you got good money back from it, um, you wanna put 20% down so that you avoid private mortgage insurance, AKA PMI. Another reason why you would want 20% down is if you wanna use this as an investment property. If this case scenario, you can only use it as a long-term investment property, you would put 20% down. So 20% of 680,000 is $136,000. Same closing cost, so we have a cash to close of $163,200. Now over here, VA loan. Thank you for everyone who has served our country. We would not be here without you. As you know, you get 100% financing. All you have to think about is the closing cost, which is that $27,200. Now I wanna talk about cash. Cash, um, you have closing costs, but you don't have as much closing costs. So the closing cost, for cash is going to be about two to three thousand dollars very big difference from financing i know so again this is um the numbers for i'm not a mortgage lender okay i just want to make sure that i'm super clear about that um taxes taxes are going to be based on the land the first year so it's going to be extremely low only a couple of hundred dollars the second year it get the house gets reassessed with the land um but i don't know what the taxes will be homeowners insurance it's very very low especially this where we are at it's very inland um also these this house has uh, hurricane resistant windows as well which is really really nice um is that called is that hurricane resistant or like hurricane impacted windows okay so it's it's one thing to consider which is really good and your insurance should only be around eleven hundred dollars give or take a couple of hundred dollars maybe like a thousand to eleven hundred just depending um but it's very fairly low so this is all of my information here for this house specifically remember everything in real estate is negotiable so just because it's listed at six hundred eighty thousand doesn't mean you need to pay that now um stay tuned to my next video right here where you can check out another video in Denellen, florida stay tuned